Okay, here's my review of the Atari Flashback 9. Uh, this console came out in 2018. It has uh, 110 built-in games. And um, it comes in this box. It brings two of the uh, original joysticks made by Atari back in the 80s, in the late 70s. And uh, it comes with this, tells you how to use it and stuff. And it also comes with a unit. Here's the unit. I have it already plugged in and everything. And uh, it's kind of small. It's about, we say, 10 by 6 by around 3 inches thick. And it has a, an SD card input right there. And on the back, it has the connection for the HDMI and a phone cable for the power. Okay, so we have the back of the Atari 9, 110 billion games. And here are the games that he has. He has Adventure, a bunch of games there. There you go. Even Combat. There you go. All these other games that he has. Space Invaders, I love that one. Yep. And the ones on front. Yep. And besides the 110 games that you could have on it, you could upgrade it to more than a thousand games if you go online to the following website. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna have a link on the bottom to this uh, Atari Age website. Once you go in here, you download this file to update the system. It has instructions here, but for some people, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, install after you unzip it. So I'm gonna teach you how to unzip it and install this uh, software. Okay, so once you download it into your desktop, you're gonna have a folder like this that says Atari Update MG. Uh, and that one, you should open it and uh, you should uh, unzip it. What you do is just put Extract To, Stuck To Extract To right here. Then you will get an Extraction Path Option window. And what you do after, you click on OK right here. Then you will get a folder like this one, which is already on set. And you open it. And something like this will come out. And you get those two files exactly how they are. And put them on the, uh, on the SD card. Exactly like that. Don't just get the folder and put it on the SD card. The SD card has to be at least I would say something around a a gigabytes or less, because I had trouble with my 16 gigabyte card. But uh, don't don't take this folder and put it on the SD card. Just take these two files and put it on the uh, SD card, and plug it on the uh, on the Atari console. And when you boot it up, it will give you a window. That would tell you if you wanted install the new files and you would say yes. Then what you do is wait. And then uh, you will see a little small SD thing on the main menu on the bottom. Before you start the ROMs, you have to get the SD card out again of the system after you turn it off. And you delete these two files from the SD card. And then in there, what you have to do is install the ROMs. Okay, then you go to the Atari H site to my other link, which is the ring where the ROMs are. And you go down all the way here. 
and here you will say something that says game zip 3.81 that was uh, uploaded here on December 6 2017 and what you do is just click on this and you save it into your desktop you just go here and you click on this and you put save as and you save it into your desktop easy as that then you should have a folder like this which you need to unzip the same way you did to the other one so what you do is just click on it and the same thing will come out you just click on extract to right here and the same thing will come out and you click OK on it once the folder is installed into your desktop you will have a folder like this that says game and inside of this folder you will find all the ROMs inside this other game folder which is this one is the one that you're supposed to install don't install the first one install the one that says game inside of this one you know this one is the one that you're supposed to put in the SD card and then put it on the system and in here are all the ROMs exactly over a thousand ROMs you know it brings all the classic Atari games if you see any space like this make sure you close it easily you just go like this and you put rename and then when it's in rename you just click here like this you know and just put it together like that you know don't leave any spaces you know because if you leave any space the games are going to uh, to crash or they ain't gonna go to work as perfectly like right here in tic-tac-toe all those little spaces if you want this game you have to close it you know just to make sure it works so that's something important that you have to do manually or you have to install a program to do it for you but since I only like less than 100 of these games I just went and looked for the ones that I liked and I fixed them and then I installed it on my on my game folder and put it back on the SD drive it's simple you know and as you can see there's a lot of games in here now oh, show it to you the old listing in alphabetical order like let's say if you wanna a donkey kong or pac-man which doesn't come with a system pac-man doesn't come with a system so i just look for pac-man here there you go. Pac-Man. There's a bunch of ve versions of Pac-Man. There's uh, Pac-Man, which is the Reno one. And what you do is, before you install it, make sure you close this gap right here. That's what I did for Pac-Man, including this one also. There's a bunch of versions of Pac-Man. There's one. No, there's one. Wow. it's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versions of Pac-Man. And let's say if you want Pac-Man the Arena, which is the first one, you just click on this, just go on to the rename. Okay, and then you go here and you close this gap. Very important to close this gap. Like this. That's how you do it, you know. You see? Now it's fixed. Now it's fixed right there. And um, and then you move it into the SD card in the game folder. Make sure it's a game folder, and you put it inside that game folder on the SD card. Once you fix it, and then put it on the device, and the device should be able to read it once you close all the gaps. But remember, make sure there's no gap, and and that's it. Enjoy, have fun with those games.